Two University of Ghana lecturers investigated after BBC Sex for Grades documentary have been suspended. The two lecturers, Dr. Ransford Jampo and Dr. Butako, faced the investigative committee set up by the university after the airing of the BBC documentary Sex for Grades last year. A statement signed by the Public Affairs Director of the University, Stella Amwa, said Professor Ransford Jampo and Dr. Butako were seen in the video engaging in acts that the committee said were inappropriate. The two were interdicted when the documentary was aired last year. The statement said in line with uh, Statute 46, uh, Plus two of the University of Ghana Statute as amended and code of conduct for academic staff of the University of Ghana, the disciplinary committee recommended a six-month suspension without pay for Professor Jampo and a four-month suspension without pay for Dr. Butako. The suspensions take effect from January 1, 2020. In addition, Professor Jampo and Dr. Butako are required to undergo appropriate training on the University of Ghana's sexual harassment and misconduct policy, as well as the code of conduct for academic staff of the University of Ghana. The statement said they will be required to receive a positive assessment after the training before resumption of their duties. They are also required to undergo annual assessment for a period of five years. Joining us on the phone now to speak a bit further on this is Dr. Samuel Nkuban, who is General Secretary of the University Teachers Association of Ghana. Good evening, Sam. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, good evening. Good evening to the cherished viewers. Now, six months and four months suspension without pay. Uh, how does UTAG react to this? Well, um, generally, we must uh, indicate that um, as a professional association, we are familiar with the university's processes and we followed through with the processes from the beginning of the airing of the video until now. And um, we are of the uh, a considered opinion that the, the interdiction had financial implications. And so um, with all the attendant effects on the individuals who were involved, um, we were of the view that even if the suspension was going to happen, um, in order to lessen the sum of effect that it had on these, because um, in as far as we are concerned as individuals and humans, we cannot claim not to be um, fallible. And so um, we see this as uh, quite strong. Um, despite we do not want to be seen to uh, be saying that the committee didn't do a good job. However, we also are quick to recognize the fact that in the case of the tip, in terms of the content and the, um, the title, everyone agrees that there was nothing related in terms of sex for grades, as the, the, the title sought to portray. We also have had a fact-finding committee that has submitted a report in which these gentlemen were exonerated of any such acts that related to sex for grades. And so, of course, because BBC aired the documentary, uh, of it, it, it certainly would have affected the image of the university in terms of the personalities that work within it. And also, of course, the, 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 the two gentlemen who were um, implicated in the, in the tape. And so generally this is, 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 is something that has just um, come up and so we would probably be engaging our colleagues on the way forward. We'll be engaging um, the executive committee of UTAC um, from tomorrow onwards and then we'll probably we'll make a statement on how uh, we feel and what we think um, the best way would be. Now, six and four months suspensions, do you think it's deterrent enough to stop others from engaging in same? Um, six months, what we're saying is this, that when the news broke, you were aware that our colleagues were put on, they were interdicted. Right. And interdiction has financial implications if, uh, in accordance with the laws of the country. And so to be on interdiction from October until now, and then, of course, to... Uh, get suspended with our salary for another six months. The implication is that it's almost six months, uh, one year. 
in relation to Jampo and say eight months in relation to Butako. And we were of a considered view that the interdiction and its financial implication constituted sufficient punishment. And so even if they were going to be suspended, they, they should uh, reflect the fact that indeed they had been on interdiction over the last uh, four or so months. And of course, we agree that um, no one should uh, engage in acts that bring the name of the university into dispute. We also agree that is the case that um, we, are, we are humans, and none of us can claim to be as clean as anything. And particularly so, our colleagues genuinely have shown remorse for the fact that their actions certainly brought the, 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 the name of the university into dispute. Thanks very much for your time, sir. Dr. Samuel Nkuban, is the General Secretary of the University Teachers Association of Ghana.